Hey y'all, I'm back. Thank you for 50,000 subscribers. This is a request video, a request um, video from Lori. Shout out to Lori. She said, Janice, can you do a video on Chanel Aman, Iman and Sterling Shepard divorce? And I was like, who? <laughs> Oh, these people never heard of them, never heard of them, never heard of them. And she wanted me to do a video because she said there's so much divorce going on around us. I was reading, I'm looking at pictures. Beautiful family, absolutely beautiful. Two girls. And I was like, Lord Jesus, beautiful family. What happened? Why y'all getting a divorce? Okay, but you know what? Life happens. Life happens. Be sure to subscribe and thumbs up again. Thank you for 15,000 subscribers. I have to do a lot. But um, I love you. I don't know if you guys really understand how much I love you. Do you guys understand that? It's like I have to talk to you every day. If I don't talk to you every day, I feel like I've lost my best friend. Like I haven't spoken to my best friend. Okay. And of course today is Sunday when I'm doing this video, but this probably won't be up till Tuesday because <laughs> I gotta get these books out. So thank you. I love you. I adore you. I absolutely appreciate you. Okay. Um, so, uh, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for your love on my books. My new book, uh, take the cookie of the table available on Amazon. Hopefully by the time you hear this video, the print copy will be up. You should have gotten this free sample in your email. If you did not comment below, we'll make sure you get it. Okay. So let me just go ahead and share the video girl. I didn't know who Laura was talking about. I said, who's that? Who's that girl? Um, okay, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, such a beautiful family. Oh my god, it's just divorce is sad, you know. And the husband filed for divorce, like Devon Franklin. He filed for divorce. We don't know what happened, you know. Marriages go through. Mm, this is why I am not for the young people getting married, child. You're not ready. Okay, let's go ahead and read. Beautiful, 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 uh, adorable girls are so pretty. Uh, Chanel, um, go back to the top, Chanel and Iman and Chanel, Iman and Sterling Shepherds shock everyone with news of their divorce. Fans of Chanel, Iman and Sterling Shepherd were shocked to learn that the couple is no longer together. What was even more surprising to fans was that the New York Giants player actually filed for divorce from the supermodel in June 2021. What? And we just heard about it? Oh, wow. What? While well, neither one of them has com commented on the fr recent frenzy over their split, fans have taken to social media to share their sadness over the couple. One fan said, was not expecting Chanel Iman to get a divorce. Her little family is so cute. I really, somebody else, I really like Chanel Iman and her husband together. Beautiful couple, beautiful babies, but you never know what's going on behind closed doors. I hope they both find it. This is true. She, somebody, Chanel Iman and her husband have such, such beautiful family. Sad to see uh, them not make it and uh, water well. Uh, the court document cited in irreconcilable differences as the reason for the couple's divorce. Prior to the recent discovery, there were rumors brewing about the couple breaking up. Neither one of them no longer had photos of them together on their social media pages. However, they both share countless adorable image of their kids. They're so cute. The former couple will share two daughters, Callie Clay and Cassie Snow. Oh, I love those names. Oh, she's so beautiful. Beautiful babies. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Chanel and Sterling got married in 2018 at the Beverly Hills Hotel in Los Angeles. And just five months later, the former uh, Victoria Marla gave birth to Callie. Okay, now, wait a minute now. <laughs> this is what somebody was saying. So did they get married because y'all want to spend their, your lives together? This She's the one or you get married because she's pregnant. God, granted, sir, that's the right thing. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. You did the right thing now. That is the right thing to do, okay? Marriage, you know, you you got her pregnant. Right thing to do is go ahead and, and put the ring on the finger. 
it's just a pity the marriage didn't work out. But, you know, I don't believe in just getting married just to have babies, but it was because you're pregnant. Anyway, and one year later, they welcomed their second child, Cassie, during happier times. The 31-year-old gushed about being a newlywed and new mother in an interview with Essence. One of my biggest accomplishments was pushing a baby out. She said, once she was born and the doctors placed her on my chest, it was the most magical moment I've ever felt when you meet your child. It's the best feeling. It's crazy what us women can do. She later said that she married the man of my dreams. My wedding was amazing, fairy tale. I kept my wedding dress and reception dress for Callie. And I have so many handbags and dresses for her if she wants them. We hope them the former couple the best. Jesus, I'm so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. So there you have it, honey. You know, like I tell y'all, ladies, live your life. Live your life. And he's the one that filed for divorce. It's interesting that he's the one. I tell you, all these men filing for divorce, honey. Mm, mm, mm. Something, child. You think something's in the water? <laughs> uh, Law Hammer, it's just so sad. You know, it really is sad to see. Divorce is just a terrible thing. Okay. Oh, wait, here's another article. There's another article. She's staying in the family house. Okay, that's fair for the kids. Yes, sir. Let her have the house for those babies. Mm-hmm. And let her keep the house for the babies. Okay, let's let's read this other article by TMZ. Um, no, this one. Mm-hmm. Okay, TMZ. Chanel staying put during divorce. His gear on his gears on the move. Ooh, cha. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me make this large take up the whole screen. Oh no, it's already in full screen. Okay. Oh, so she's staying in the house. She should stay in the house for the babies. Okay, the baby that's the baby's home. Sterling Shepard saying goodbye to his man came. At least while his divorce from Victoria's Secret model Ishan, Chanel Emma is being hushed out in court, we've learned she'll be staying put in the family home and he's moving his stuff out. According to new legal documents obtained TMZ, Chanel gets sole use of their paid, their paid in New Jersey, use of their pad in New Jersey as the divorce winds its way through the court and he had to remove his personal items from the home, which will now occupy his bachelor pad. Get a load of the items the New York Giants uh, star had to pack up and ship out in addition to his wardrobe and bling. The hall includes his gaming system. Yeah, all his personal stuff. The doc says Sterling also moved out a bunch of weightlifting and other exercise equipment. Beautiful couple. No, don't stop getting married, young people. Don't get married too young. As we reported, Sterling filed for divorce back in June after more than three years of marriage and two kids. The doc says Sterling and Chanel want joint cust legal custody of their kids during the divorce procedure. And when Sterling plays football on the road on Sundays and can't get back to the family home by 8 p.m. that night, he'll pick up the kids the next morning. That's nice. While Sterling is not living at the North Caldwell marital home during the split, the doc say he will continue footing the bill for her monthly. I know it's expensive. I live in Jersey, child. Caldwell, expensive. You got to have money to live up there. And the doc says Sterling and Chanel agreed to not have any romantic third parties spend the night when when their parent, as you should not. The final decision division of assets and parenting issues will be added, uh, will be decided down the road at the end of the divorce. But this is how they're operating. Be yes, be classy about it. Don't be having no, all these types of different people around your kids. Okay. Well, there you have it, honey. I just think the young people don't be y'all don't get married because y'all don't know what you want. You think you know. You think you know what you want, but you don't want him. This younger, but she's 31. At 31, they should have it together. She was 28. Yeah, 28 girls should have it together. We don't know why they filed for divorce. And how old is he? Is he younger than her? Um, not and they got married because it was pregnant. So did did he really want to marry her? Or is it because she was pregnant? Granted, you know, we in the church, the right thing to do. You may make marry that woman. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about it, girl. I'm telling you, divorce is sad. Jesus, I just plead the blood over my marriage and over my family. Divorce don't come knocking on my door. You know, I just, I can't, I cannot, I can't imagine. I can't imagine being in this house without Mike or we're splitting little Michael. I just, I can't imagine. But anyways, 
pray that they find happiness and you know and they'll work it through and that all will be well with the kids beautiful babies it's so pretty beautiful family beautiful family it's good to see families together you know we don't get a lot of vision of, of black families anymore but girls sometimes it just don't work out anyways let me go i've been recording all morning uh take the cookie off the table is my new book check that out on amazon and i need reviews babes i love you i adore you see you later bye